Hello, I'm Dr. Tracy Moreno, and this talk is titled, Suicide is Not the Answer. Unfortunately, suicidal thoughts can be a symptom of depression, although having suicidal thoughts doesn't mean you're going to kill yourself, but it still needs to be taken very seriously. There are two main types of suicidal thinking. There's active and passive. Active thoughts means that you're having thoughts about how you want to commit suicide and actually doing it yourself. Passive thoughts means you're wishing your life will end, but not necessarily wanting to do it yourself. Kind of like hoping that you'll just go to sleep one day and never wake up. Both active and passive thoughts are considered suicidal in nature and need to be treated. I treat many clients who are either experiencing suicidal thoughts themselves or who have experienced a suicide or attempted suicide of a loved one, so I'm able to see the thought process from both sides. For people who have experienced a loved one who has completed or attempted suicide, it is extremely difficult to understand, especially when that person seemingly has a lot to live for, like family, friends, children. It seems like a very selfish act, and there can be a lot of anger involved in the treatment process. People tend to blame themselves. They think, why didn't I see this coming? I could have done more to help. I could have stopped them. But the truth is, this has nothing to do with you. There is nothing you could have done to prevent this from happening. Most people who are suicidal will continue to attempt many times until it's done, or they'll eventually get themselves help. But even if you are able to stop them once, a truly suicidal person will attempt again. It's just a matter of time. You cannot help them. They have to help themselves. The only thing that you can do is be there for them should they reach out for help. You can be there for them by listening and encouraging them to get help from a mental health professional. If you're the person experiencing suicidal thoughts, I know this is far from a selfish act in your mind. Depression and the feeling of hopelessness has overtaken you and convinced you that it will be selfish to continue living. The hopelessness now has you believing that suicide will be an act of pure selflessness. You've convinced yourself that everyone is better off without you and that all you do is cause your loved ones more problems than you're worth. You've convinced yourself that all you do is cause heartache and headaches to the people around you. Although some people will admit that their loved ones may be a little sad if they died, they believe it will only be for a short period of time and that they will soon get over it and be better off for, for it. What you don't realize is that experiencing the suicide of a loved one is one of the most difficult experiences to process and grieve. Suicide leaves an unbelievable amount of anger, guilt, pain, confusion. Some people never recover from it. Reverse the roles for a sec. How would you feel if your mom or child committed suicide? Now, I know your first thought is probably, but that's different. No, it's not different. It's exactly the same. So given this scenario, would you thank them for killing themselves, for making your life easier? Or would you be devastated, confused, and angry as hell? I'll bet it's the latter. If you are experiencing suicidal thoughts, it's important to realize that your depression is tricking your mind and making you believe things that aren't true. Your loved ones do need you. Some will never overcome their grief. They will never be the same. If you want to get better for those you love, then fight to get better. If your depression has gotten you to the point of having suicidal thoughts, then you really have nothing to lose by seeking mental health treatment. In my experience, most people feeling they want to die are really not actually wanting to die. What they really want is for the pain to stop. They just don't see any other way for the pain to stop but to die. But this is a lie. To prove it, answer this simple question. 
Would you want to live if you didn't have to feel depressed and hopeless? I'm guessing your answer is yes, because the only reason people want to die is due to the depression and hopelessness. But the depression is manageable and even curable. Think about this for a moment. How would your life be if you put as much effort into wanting to live as you put into wanting to die? At this point, you have a lot to lose and a lot to gain. If you ever want to talk to someone about what you're going through, you can call the suicide hotline at one 800 273 talk That's 800 273 T A L K or they have a new text line. All you do is text the word talk to 741. Again, text the word talk to 741 741. Both lines are available 24 hours a day. Blessings and good mental health.